Okay, so I'm gonna, I have to create my relationships before I do anything, before I could link all the tables. So what I'm going to do is actually go here to the data sheet table, a uh, data sheet tab, and actually create the relationships between all three tables. Close it out. And the way it goes is my customers go to the orders, which then go to the details. So for all customers, they link to an order. Their customer ID is customer ID. And then their orders are linked to the order details by order ID is order ID. I could just close that. I'll save that. All right. Now I could actually create, go to the query wizard. Let me see my data. Now give me my customer ID and their contact name. And let's see. Uh, let's say. See what city they're in. And on the order, let me see the order date and the ship date. That looks pretty good. There's anything else. And for the details, let me see the unit price, the quantity, and if there was a discount. And show every every field of every record. Sounds good to me. Uh, we could also do a summary, which is just going to add, you would actually pick what you want to sum up by. But let, just let me see every record. And then what do you want to title it? I'll just call it uh, three tables data. Finish. And boom, there it is. So I've got my customer ID, my contact name, the city that they're in the order date, the ship date, the unit price, the quantity, and the discount. And of course, with any one of these, you could sort by oldest to newest, newest to oldest, A to Z, anything you want. And at the same time, you could also go back into the SQL view and make any changes you like. Now, the cool thing is you could pretty much take the same query, come back, and let's just create a new query in my uh, SQL Management Studio. Paste it. It will almost work, except that it doesn't realize what the name of the tables are because they're, um, they're being aliased differently here in Access than they are in SQL. So from DB customers, oh, that's what it is. So in SQL, they're actually called it's a DBO dot customers table, and in this case, it's DBO dot orders. And there's one last table. DBO dot order details. That should do it. Yep, so those will be successful. And boom, same data here. So here I could actually order by however I like. So I'm just going to put customer ID. It'll say it's an ambiguous column because I actually have to tell it which one I want to take. So I'll just tell it to be a customers dot customer ID. And there we go. Now, as you can see, not quite as simple as in Access, right click, sort smallest to largest, largest to smallest. But that's why we're that's why we're showing you this. Be able to use a tool that you're used to for your front end, and at the same time get the speed uh, that SQL Server provides. So it makes a 
it definitely helps out for transitioning when you have a large amount of data in access getting switching that data over to SQL to get the speed but at the same time you're so used to producing your reports your queries through access you don't want to lose that this is a uh, simple way to transition and then eventually when you feel comfortable with messing around in SQL and knowing how it works you could uh, you know you could become an expert and on your way to be a SQL DBA and get paid the big bucks so hope that helps hope you enjoyed and I'll uh, see you next time. Thanks. If you have any ideas for future Share episodes, please contact us at share at localwisdom.com. You can follow us at twitter.com slash localwisdom. And check out our blog at blog.localwisdom.com. Mm-hmm.